Rachel, you'll never believe this. Don't come near me, James. Stay back. Why? What's wrong? It's nothing serious. Just a touch of the flu, but I don't want you catching it with your diabetes. Okay. No problem. I'll keep my distance. So, what were you going to tell me? I've been picked as one of the shipwrights to help launch the Titanic. Really? That's wonderful news with the young James here. So he's so proud. Don't you be telling him. Let me say to him so I can see the reaction on his face. Who was a picture? Thomas Andrews. He's a nice man. I like him. Yeah, he's tough, but he's fair. A man's man, you know. So, when's lunch day then? 31st of May. Just over two weeks away. And what is it you'll actually have to do? Well, at the minute, the Titanic is held in place on the slipways on the top of keel blocks. So it will be my job to split them, then knock the support beams out of the way so the Titanic can slide down into the Victoria Channel. How many of you will there be? About 40 I think, 20 in each side. All of us synchronised and working together. Like a well-oiled machine love. What about the rest of the workers? Will they be off? Aye, so James will not be working in the yard that day, so make sure you and him come down and watch. <laughs> Can't wait now, it's going to be a great day. The Harbour Commission are going to build a grandstand for spectators at the Albert Quay. Yeah, but they'll charge money to sit there. Yeah, but that's a good thing because Lord Perry's going to give that money to two local children's hospitals. I'm not paying good money to sit in a stand. No love, you're picking me up wrong. The seats in the stand will be reserved for dignitaries. The world's press and guests of the White Star Lane. Too pricey for the likes of us. Don't worry. There'll be plenty of room to watch on the key safe. Okay, but are you sure the Titanic will slide in okay? It must weigh a million tons, that's a lot of weight to move. Don't worry. The slipways are going to be greased and then of course there's gravity. Once we split the key blocks and knock out the dog shores, she'll fly in. Trust me. I've got some news to tell you as well. Okay, good. Let me hear it. I joined the women's suffragette movement today. Please tell me you're joking. No, oh, far from it. I'm deadly serious. Did Lily and Matt get put you up to this? I'm a grown woman, James. I make my own decisions. Yeah, but Lillian's been whispering her poison in your ear, hasn't she? So let me get this right. It's okay for you to protest and march against home rule. But it's not okay for me to do the same when it comes to women getting the vote. But your women can already vote in local elections. But voting for who gets into Parliament? No, Rachel. That's a step too far. And why is that? Because Parliament deals with the Empire, the Army and the Navy. And with questions of peace and war, they are outside a woman's comprehension. Never thought that I would say this. But you, James, my beloved husband will nothing more than err between his ears, are a male chauvinist. Come on, Rachel. Can you really imagine a woman being Minister for War? Even you have to admit, that is absurd. The only thing's absurd is that I actually married you. God, you're taking this a bit thick. Mark my words, James Dobbin. One of these days, women will get the vote. And a few years after that, a woman will be Prime Minister. Now, don't be ridiculous. What's next? Humans landing on the moon? Yes, quite possibly. Because unlike you, James, the world is filled with creative, intelligent people that aren't afraid to let their imagination soar. My imagination is vain. Sure, haven't I helped build the biggest ship in the world? The eighth wonder of the world, we call her. And the ninth wonder is we're still married. I know you don't really mean that. And why is that? Because I love you with all my heart. And the day we walked down the aisle was the happiest day of my life. You can always turn on the charm when you want to, Jane. And I was only joking about women getting the vote. Sure if you want. I'll even handcuff you to the railings myself and burn a few post boxes with you. I'll hold you to that. I'm a man of my word. Okay, agreed. But you have to promise me one thing, okay? Of course, love. Anything. Be careful when you're launching the Titanic. Because I don't want to lose you, James Dalton. There's no need to worry. Harland and Wolf have launched hundreds of ships without incident. And I can assure you, the Titanic will be no different. In that case, let's hurry home and tell James he'll be chuffed to bits. Oh, I can't wait to see his face. <laughs>